if you were to think about a province in Thailand that is rich in culture and tradition, I'm sure that many of you will think of Chiang Mai. I've interviewed you to one of the most well-known tourist attraction, Wat Umong, a thousand-year-old temple before in a province two minutes Thailand clip. But that's not the only amazing place to visit there in Chiang Mai. In this clip, I will introduce five must-see places to go to when you travel to Chiang Mai. used to be part of the Lanna Kingdom during 1292 to 1775. Some Thai people call Chiang Mai the Tower of Art. It has its own style, worthy history and beautiful nature. The easiest way to get around the province is by car. I highly recommend renting a car during your visit because the travel attractions are quite far from each other. The car could be rented from the Chiang Mai airport, but the prices there are typically more expensive than renting it from a local place or from a car rental website beforehand. The average price of a small sedan would be around 400 baht per day. However, if you know how to ride a motorbike, then you can save even more by renting a motorbike for only 250 baht per day. Now that you have a mode of transportation, let's get started with the first place you should visit in Chiang Mai. Me Kampong The small village within Me On district, Chiang Mai province, Thailand. Some people call it a hidden village in the middle of the valley. It is located about 1,300 meters above sea level. The location is distinguished by the peaceful atmosphere and most people describe it as a village of a fairy tale. Mae Kampong is not far from Chiang Mai city, around 50 kilometers. The village was discovered around 100 years ago. The name Mae Kampong comes from the past near the village creek where there are many kampong flowers which are small red yellow and combined with the name Menam which means river in Thai. It became Ban Me Kampong. Most of the villagers are people who migrated from Doi Saket district to build Miang gardens and coffee farms. There is also Me Kampong waterfalls and art will point on the mountain. If your travel days are more than 3 days in Chiang Mai, we recommend you to stay overnight at the homestay. Pa Sha at the Mewang National Park. Pa Sha is located in Mewang National Park. What you are seeing now is a natural phenomenon that occurred hundreds of years ago, when the water eroded the land until it turned the area into cliffs, walls, and clay pillars. It is believed that this area used to be the passage of the Ping River before. The weather can get very hot there around noon, so I would recommend you to arrive there after 3 p.m. to experience cooler weather and to catch the beautiful golden sunlight in the afternoon. The path to go to Pasha is quite long and a bit difficult like trekking through the grove. It is better to wear sneakers, however, there are a lot of beautiful natural things you can see throughout the way there. In addition, the area around there also has older attractions such as waterfall, elephant parks, and places for rafting. San Kampang Hot Springs This place is located in Meon district, around 23 kilometers from Me Kampong. It is a famous hot spring in Chiang Mai which had a temperature of 105 C degrees. There are ponds where you can soak just your feet or entire body into the hot waters, overwhelming to climbing natural backdrop. It has a beautiful flower garden with more than a hundred kinds of flowers and a cute cafe in stone with beautiful diamond glasses. The ponds at a hot springs are known to have minerals in them. Tourists can support the locals there by buying raw eggs to boil and eat them around the ponds. The time to take the boil and egg is about 3 to 15 minutes. There are also a cafe inside with a beautiful diamond glasses 
But if you aren't too hungry, then you might opt to relax and soak in the pond, where there are also shower rooms and massage servers for you to hang out after. There is truly a unique attraction where you can relax and take photos at, which you should visit at least one in your lifetime. Rai Long Nao, Mon Jem. This place is one of the top tourist attraction for taking beauty photos in Chiang Mai. Rai Long Nao is located at Doi Mon Jem or Mon Jem Village, which is a popular pick amongst tourists for accommodation, dining, and is a popular photogenic check-in point to see a mountain view. It isn't too far from the city, around 50 kilometers. The atmosphere is around by forests and mountains. One of the most interesting things about this place is that the native flowers here there turns growing during different seasons throughout the year. The type of flowers could be verbena, starstix, sunflower, and more. So I recommend you to check the type and color of flowers on their Facebook page first. Many tourists like going there during the winter because of the winter flowers, but I personally like the flowers during this season because it looks beautiful with the foggy background. But whichever season you choose to go, I'm sure that you will get a lot of chic photos there for posting on your social media. Tha Gate Tha Pae Gate or Batu Tha Pae is like a landmark of Chiang Mai. If you go to Chiang Mai for the first time, you should not miss this place. Tha Pae Gate is one of the old five gates, which was built during the King Mang Rai of Lan Na in 1296. The Fire Arts Department rebuilt Tha Pae Gate in 1985 based on historical and archaeological evidence. It is located on the east side of a small canal, which in the past, it connected people to the Bing River by boat. It was an important pier that was used for training with other countries. Ta in Thai means pier. This is the reason why people call it Ta Pair. Now it has become a famous travel attraction. Every Sunday at 6 to 10 p.m., it hosts the biggest walking street in Chiang Mai, where many shops sell local Thai street food, clothes, handcraft goods and more traditional things that could be souvenirs. You could also visit the four Chiang Mai gates, which are called Changpe Gate, located in the north, Chiang Mai Gate and Sanpung Gate in the south, and Suan Dao Gate in the west. The places that I recommended just now are just a tiny part of this unique town. There are still a lot of tourist attractions which I haven't mentioned yet. If you know any other amazing tourist places that I haven't mentioned in this clip yet, feel free to share them with our fellow audience members below. Or if you've been to any of the places I mentioned before, please let me know in comment section. Goodbye, thanks for watching. สวัสดีเจ้า